my babies in this video i'm going to be doing a tarot spread on brianna battle and her current situation okay some of y'all know her as brianna hampton as well so as you see here i got two decks i usually only use one deck for this uh particular spread but we're going to use two decks we might use two decks we'll see but we're going to pull out all the one cards and this is going to be used for clarity only clarity only okay y'all got that so we're going to mix up the cards right here in front of y'all all right and before I begin this um, tarot reading, I call upon my higher power, Olu Dumare, Olu Rum, and Alofi, my head of Rio, Batala, Mama Oya, my ancestors, my spiritual guides, my Rishas, the archangels, the star seeds, and I call upon the ancestors and spirit guides, their ancestors and their spirit guides. Also, let me turn this card around to come in and assist. Hold on, I gotta fix these cards. We don't want them showing. Let me fix those real quick, okay? Um, so I call on their ancestors and their spirit guides to come in and assist. And I also ask them to surround me right now with a white light. And protection i ask that only energies of highest good to be present during this reading and i ask spirit to use me as a channel and as a vessel of these messages and i ask spirit to hold on let me stick that under there and i ask spirit to remove me now that way i could be a channel of this message and a medium to provide y'all to provide the collectors and even if they watch clarity insight and guidance i shall i don't know what happened to my camera but let's go pull from here the past the eight of wands i need clarity for that okay um i might the present self page of swords uh what's that the problem oh baby the problem that is crazy work right there crazy 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 work sun card for uh unconsciousness good card there two of cups conscious nine of pentacles the future i definitely see that for her in the future okay hopes and fears mm. External influence, Queen of uh, Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Your influence, woo, that is crazy work. And the outcome. Sorry. Queen of Wands. All right, that's the outcome. All right, so far the spread is not so bad, okay? Not so bad, really. It's okay, it's okay. Besides the problem, okay? And we're going to get into that, all right? Um, that's for the past. Remember, I said I was going to pull some more, okay? This is for her, the present moment, okay? These are the clarity cards I was talking about. Oh, give me one second so y'all can see right here. I'm just pulling from here. This is the conscious. Ooh, baby! See? Spirit don't lie. Look, I'm pulling them right from here. Wow. Massive regrets, unconscious. Sorry, I just pulled this one. I shouldn't have just pulled it so fast, but uh, which one was my... Okay, that was the next one. Okay, love spell. External influence. Wow. Your influence. Mm, mm, mm. and the last card look at that the last card outcome karma ties i can't make this up okay so let's get into the reading this is the past so in the past i don't know if i said that twice but anyway um this is the eight of wands and eight represents movement change and attainment so she was like trying to move real fast in the past this is her energy right but someone left her hanging with no closure, no contact, and left on red. So in her past, one of her relationships, she wanted closure or she just didn't get the closure that she wanted and someone left her hanging or, yeah, basically what I'm seeing in it is someone was trying to move away from her, right? Because she was left hanging. So it was not her them she left someone hanging it was that she was left hanging so it says left you hanging so someone left her hanging in the past right let's move forward so her um present self which is right here is the page of swords now page is like young people energy pages always give me like freshly out of high school or studious person or just like young energy okay this is what is giving me like some kind of young engine energy okay present self is still in some kind of young energy okay um that's her energy right there just young immature type of energy and i'm telling y'all just the cards is telling me that like her energy is still like in high school level because pages are like someone that's like fresh out of high school or just have that mentality especially with air being here because air represents uh your reality your goals your guidance your intelligence your knowledge and stuff like that basically your mind so she's very young-minded that's why i see her present self also in her present self either she's faking to always be busy or someone's always faking to be busy around her the problem with her relationship 
and her situation right now in life this is the problem you see it came out that she's been backstabbed she's been betrayed someone like got this <laughs> the person that's closest to her is that stabbing her in the back and spirit said that she needs to walk away and she need to pay attention to the signs but she's really not let me say this because it's so close to the present and the now this is actually what's going on right now and 10 represents completion end of cycles and transformation and stuff like that but also with this card is a little bit different than traditional tarot and i'm gonna tell you a little bit about that in a second but the ten of swords for her is symbolizing that she's been betrayed okay that is uh, going to be very very painful endings for her um and it also signifies a difficult or challenging situation that is at hand right now and we have reached the climax of this we might not see it because she's faking busy or faking to do things right now right now she's like in isolation where she's going to be faking busy or how you call it or pretending to be out hanging out being with friends and just not focus on it focusing on the internet right now so we're gonna get a lot of fake busy you see that present self and now okay i can't make this up this is what the cards is telling me what spirit is telling me now while the imagery on if you ever uh seen a writer weight deck which is the original tarot deck um, that deck can, that card can be very unsettling because you'll see like someone that's laying down on the ground with like a red robe on and they're literally stabbed in their back with like swords and stuff like that. But that card, even in this card too, also represents, which I like this one better, it doesn't look so tender swords-ish, um, carries a message of new beginnings, opportunities uh, for healing, transformation after a period of darkness, okay? So it is going to be transformation after a period of darkness. You can't really see it here, but you see like the crows and you see the dark clouds and you see that person walking away, all right? So definitely some kind of painful ending. That's what it's going to be. The problem is going to be something very painful, okay? I do want to mention if you made it this far, y'all might as well follow me now because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a part two because I got this whole large spread here and I'm at the eight minute mark and I went into my prayer because I have to protect myself while doing these readings for the collective. So just make sure to follow me. Okay, so her consciousness... Um, actually refers to a state of being aware and being able to think about one's thoughts and existence as well as the external world okay so this is what she knows and what she is constant about and what she allows to perceive like about individuals around her or her surroundings and stuff like that her experiences her emotions and all that right everything she's conscious of this so she's very conscious that she has a toxic lifestyle when it comes to love two of cups here baby i can't make this up you're gonna have to follow follow me for part two y'all heart this video favorite this video share this video and part two i'm gonna start it off from the beginning so don't worry y'all it's gonna be started off from the beginning and be a full collective